Have you ever been watching the most amazing video on YouTube when you get this big pop-up notification right on top of the video and you can't even see what's going on? Ugh. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can enable edge lighting on Samsung Galaxy devices to enhance the way your notifications look, how to interact with them, and how to have your phone look way cooler. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk all about edge lighting on the Galaxy S10s. Now, if you have the Note 9 or the S9, this should work very similar. So first, we're gonna head into the settings of the phone. We're gonna go down under display, and we are going to go and find the edge screen settings right here. So when you open up edge screen, you'll have two different options, edge panels and edge lighting. So we're gonna tap on edge lighting to open this up. And here I have just turned it on. So when you turn this on, you do have to choose which apps are going to show the edge lighting, but instead of receiving the notification that we had at the beginning, which was the big notification here at the top, it's going to be a much slimmer notification. So I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of those notifications while you're using your phone, when your phone is off, or even when your phone is face down and you receive a phone call. So first we have the show edge lighting settings. So this is going to be when the edge lighting appears. So the top one is you can have it show when the screen is on. So like right now, our screen is on. When we receive a text notification, it will give us a pop up like this. Now the next option is while the screen is off. Now this is a topic that is the biggest struggle with edge lighting because many apps do not support giving you a notification when the screen is off. So let me show you. If I lock my screen and I receive a notification, you can see that I receive the edge lighting with the pop-up right there. Now, many applications do not support this. WhatsApp, Messenger, pretty much everything I tried, but the stock messages application does not work with the edge lighting when the screen is off. Now that may change over time, but as of right now, that is the experience that I have had. So when I go in here, I do have it set to always, so it will show on the lock screen if that app is supported. And that is when to show the edge lighting. Now next you have the effects of edge lighting. So in here I can go to edge lighting style. So right now I've already adjusted this from what the default is, but the first option you have here is the effect. So this is the wave style. So up here on the notification, you see these little waves. Next we have the bubble style. So you'll see these little bubbles pop up on the notification. Here we have multicolor. So it's changing the colors around the outside. And then here we have glow. So it's glowing around the outside edge. And then last here, we have glitter. And then here at the very beginning, you do have basic where there is no glow pattern around the edge. So we're gonna keep it on the bubble for now. Next, you have the color. So you can choose any color. So I have chosen the green. It seems to be the best to be seen at night or whenever I receive a notification. But here you have a few options. You can choose a custom color. So I could actually choose whatever color I want for each message application. So these are the three apps that I have right now set up and they have been set specific colors. So here on the Galaxy S10, you do have a new feature that will change the notification based on what text message you receive. So here, if I put hello, I can add that as a specific notification where it's gonna give me this color. So I could change any color I want for whenever somebody sends me the words hello. So that is how you can change the custom colors on all of the apps. And up here you can manage the apps that are getting notifications and we'll get more into that in a second. So then you also have the option to choose the basic color, but I really do prefer this nice green right here. Next, you have the option to choose transparency. So transparency is how much that edge effect is going to show up. So I like to keep mine on the low transparency so you can see the edge effect as much as possible. Now you do have the option to change the width. So narrow is a very small border, but if you go to wide, you see the edge lighting effect much better. And now a brand new option with the One UI update is duration. So now you can actually choose how long that notification pops up. So here's a short pop-up. And then here we go to the long. Now, 
Now in the demo, I'm not sure the exact times of that, but we're gonna keep it on the long for now. And once you have your settings set up, select done and it will save those. So then down here, you have the option to turn on edge lighting interaction. So this is how you can actually interact with those pop-ups on screen. So now that there are three ways to do that. One is you can tap on the notification to open the application. And if the screen is off, you can double tap the pop-up to go into the notification. Next, you have the option to open up the app by dragging down on the notification. And then you have the option to swipe away the notification to the left or right to dismiss that notification. So let me show you how that works. So here I receive the notification. I can tap on it and it will take me right into the app. Here I receive the notification again. I can drag down on it and then it will open the app in a pop-up window that I can actually respond back. And then third, when I receive the notification, I can just swipe it away so that that notification is no longer there. And that is the edge lighting interaction. So if you don't want these to be enabled, you would just turn them off right there. But I really like those extra features. And then last here, you have the manage notifications. So these are the apps that are going to notify you in the pop-up window. So here I have Hangouts enabled, I have Messages, and then you can go through and enable any of those applications that you want to have pop up here on the screen. Now, like I said before, depending on what app you use, most of them don't have the ability to give you the notification when the screen is off. So let's try another application. So here I received a notification from Hangouts, but it only gave me the little pop-up here on the screen. So to find out why an app may be doing that, we need to go into the app settings. So if we go down to the Hangouts notification here, go into details, here we can look at the different notification settings. So right here under messages, if I tap on messages, we can see the notification style is set to sound and pop-up. So everything is set properly where it should have given us the edge lighting, but for whatever reason, it is not supported. So if an app isn't working, there really is no way to fix it unless you go into the notification style, turn on sound and pop-up, but other than that, you're out of luck. And it does mention right here to make sure notifications are allowed in the app settings. Some notifications may not be compatible with edge lighting. Now that we've gone through all of the settings here, let me show you how you can get a few more effects in edge lighting. So if we go into the Samsung Galaxy Store and you search for Edge Lighting Plus. This is actually an enhancement that is made by Samsung in an app called Goodlock that allows you to have more options. Now I believe this is only available in the US, um, but there are some APK downloads available um, if you search the web. So here when we open that, it's gonna take us right to the edge lighting settings. And here we can select effect. And now instead of just those few options, we have a few more here. We now have fluid. So it's just gonna ring around the outside. We have boomerang. We have galaxy. Loop. And then last we have celebrate. Now, depending on the effect, some of them allow you to change the color and the transparency, and some of them do not. So that is how you can add more notifications to your edge lighting effect. Now last, let's talk about what happens when you receive a phone call with edge lighting. So if you have your phone face up like this and you receive a phone call, nothing really changes. You're just gonna receive a phone call just like normal. But if you wanna take advantage of edge lighting notifications when you receive a phone call, you do need to make sure that you place your phone face down on a surface, and then it will illuminate the outside edge of the screen, and you'll be able to see that because the Galaxy devices have an edge screen. Now, I even tested this on the Galaxy S10e. Because it is a flat screen, you do receive the notifications, it's just harder to see because you don't have the edge. So now let me show you what it looks like when you receive a phone call. So here it's not showing much from the top down, but if you look at the side of the device, you are able to see that green light notification coming through. And then when you pick up your phone, you'll see that the phone call is coming in just like normal, and then you can answer it or decline it. 
So there is no way to adjust the color of those notifications when you get a phone call. Right now they're only showing up in green. So that is how you can use all the edge lighting features on the Samsung Galaxy devices. Now a quick tip, if you want to quickly adjust these, just go to the notification panel up here and then here you have the edge lighting. So you can either turn off edge lighting, turn it on, if you tap, you can then quickly go into the details where you can then adjust those settings that I showed you today. If you have any further questions about edge lighting on your Galaxy device, please let me know in the comments below and come hang out with me over here on my other Galaxy S10 tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.